pure and simple racism. Pro Baseball instituted is what is known as the Gentleman's Agreement. Any team with an African American would be barred from competition. This led to the Negro Leagues being founded in 1920 by Rube Foster as a place for professional competition of African American baseball players. So how did Jackie Robinson break the color barrier? Branch Rickey, the GM for the Brooklyn Dodgers, had plans to sign an African American to his team. He narrowed down the list of three potential players. Rickey interviewed Jackie Robinson and asked if he could handle the racial animosity sure to be thrown at him. Jackie said he could, and although he may not have been the best African American player in the Negro Leagues, he was the right man for the job, according to Rickey. Racial tension did exist in the Dodgers locker room after Blanche Rickey signed Jackie Robinson. Some players said they would rather sit out than play with Jackie. These antics ended when the Dodgers manager gave this speech to the team in the locker room. I do not care if the guy is yellow or black, or if he has stripes like a fucking zebra. I'm the manager of this team and I say he plays. What's more, I say he can make us all rich. And if any of you cannot use the money, I will see that you are all traded. Some of the players in the Dodgers locker room were not the only MLB players that had a problem with Jackie Robinson playing baseball. The St. Louis Cardinals went so far as to threaten to strike if Jackie Robinson played. Due to this threat, baseball commissioner Happy Chandler said that any striking player would be suspended. Robinson became the target of very rough physical play, especially from the Cardinals. In one of the first games of the year, the Philadelphia Phillies yelled racial slurs at Jackie from their dugout and told him to go back to the cotton fields. This ultimately united the Dodgers as a team. Jackie's teammate Pee Wee Reese publicly said, you can hate a man for many reasons, color is not one of them. Jackie Robinson's impact was felt since day one on his debut game when he scored the winning run. In his first year alone, he finished the season with 12 home runs, a league leading 29 steals, a batting average that was 297, a 427 slugging percentage, and he scored 125 runs. His performance earned him the inaugural Major League Baseball Rookie of the Year award.
batter Frank Keller at bat. Robinson dashes for the plate. It's close, and umpire Summers calls him safe on the daring maneuver. But Yogi Berra doesn't think so. And the fans will never forget the sight of Jackie Robinson tearing for the plate on his daring speed. <laughs> Thank you.